Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Still reading in Psalms. We're dissecting now. Psalms 18, only verse 9. I want you to hear this. This is talking about God after you cry out to him and he comes to your rescue. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. Oh, you know, that speaks volumes, this past two cents. That speaks volumes of the authority of God. Darkness bows before God. Darkness gets up under his feet. Darkness is his footstool. Listen, he's in control, not the darkness. That's why the darkness was under his feet. No matter what your dark, no matter what's going on, no matter what trials, tribulations, situations, uh, obstacles, problems, hurdles, this is the thing. No matter what you see as a setback, no matter how dark that setback seems to be, Listen, God is in control of that darkness. God bows the heaven and brings heaven's promises and blessings down into your life. He bows, he condescends to us. He doesn't just wait for us to reach up to him. He reaches down to us. And the whole time he's reaching down, baby, darkness is under him. It's under his feet. Darkness is nothing compared to him. Your darkness is nothing compared to God. Look how powerful God is with the lightnings and the hailstones and, and the clouds and the, oh my goodness, he, 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 where it says in verse 14, yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them and he shot out lightnings and discomforted them. Listen, you don't realize how in control God is. God will use the lightning. He'll use the earthquakes. He'll use the problems. He'll use the setbacks. He'll use the attacks that are coming against you. And he will use it in your favor somehow. Some crazy way that he works because he is a creative God will work in your favor. Therefore, you will not fear what man shall do unto you. God will work in your favor. It doesn't mean you're right and you're altogether um, um, innocent in the situation, but your heart is right. Whether you handle things right, whether you handle them and fumble the ball, whether you mishandle it, the bottom line is if there is no guile in your heart and you are your intentions are pure, God honors the pureness of your heart and he will come down and rescue you and work everything out for your good based on your sincerity, not on your perfection, on your sincerity. God will bless you. God will honor you. He will make darkness go up under the feet. Why? Because he's in control, not your darkness. God bless you as you trust in the Lord.